So what is a class attribute in Python? Well, a class attribute is essentially an attribute that belongs to a class instead of a particular object or instance of that class. Um, so let's show you what that means in code. So to show you what this looks like in code, we're gonna take this class, it's a perfectly valid, but kind of pointless <laughs> class, and we're gonna actually make it useful. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna create, um, I'm gonna say def in it and basically gonna create our constructor, right? And so in this, we're just gonna pass in, say a name. Um, and now what this is doing equal to name. Now what this is doing is basically when I create a person, let's say this is Jim and this is Jane. Um, essentially when I, when I print these out, we're, we can print out the name. Now these are unique and a class attribute is something that carries across all the classes. And so how do we define that? Well, um, essentially what we want to do is we want to put that right up here. And what is something, and I like to think of class attributes as things that belong to the, um, I guess the class as a whole. So like for our employee class, what might be an attribute or what might be a thing that would belong to every single um, employee. And one of those things could be say like the company zip code, right? Say they have something or you create like a, a mailing address type thing um, for this employee and they're all gonna use the same zip code. Well, you can just say company uh, zip and then we can say that is equal to um, um, we'll just say one, two, three, four, right? So what happens is, is I can now go ahead and I can print all this information. So let's go print E1 um, dot name and then E2 dot name. And I'm actually going to um, put these in F strings so that I can show you the variables. Copy this. Now let's do this with the company zip, right? So company zip. Now, if this all works all out just fine and dandy, what you'll see is that the names for each is, each of these will be unique because we passed them into our employee class and then it named it. But then our, it created a class attribute, which is simply the company zip. And ideally this should be the same for every single employee that we create. So if we go ahead and run this, um, we can see that E1, the employee one is Jim, and then employee two is Jane, but both employee one and employee two have the company um, zip code of one, two, three, four. See, that is basically what a class attribute is and why it can be useful is because this would be the thing, or this would be the place, and you could say, um, we can do company state is equal to, and we'll just say like Idaho. And I can come down here, and for both of these as well, I can print this out and Oops, there we go, print this out. Whoa, gets back to where it was. All right, print this out right there. And you'll see that now both of them have Idaho. So that is essentially what a class attribute is in Python. It's basically a, a variable um, that belongs to a class that when instantiated, like when, a, when you create an object, every single object that you create will, you know, can start off with that same initial, um, or those same initial values that would be had uh, for every single employee class. Because for example, I could create a employee three class class and we'll say this is Kate and I can came, come down here do the exact same thing we'll see that employee three employee three and employee three and when I run this you should see that all the names should be unique meaning they're what we instantiate them to but then all the company zips should all be the same as well as the company states um, so that's essentially what a class attribute is in Python if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below until next time keep on programming